All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and open the door here with winner semifinals, Dexter versus Zorax, uh, SL's own. This should be pretty fun. I know uh, Zorax has been taking... Uh, you guys are good, yep. Zorax has been taking Dexter to some pretty close sets as of late. Um, and it'd be pretty cool to see him make this upset, but, you know, we're going to have to wait and see. Dex, uh, definitely one of our top players here. Uh, JTS, absolutely, like, an undisputed top three here. Um, and probably, like, honestly, top five in the region, too. We're going to see how he handles the uh, Fox Marth matchup. Looks like that's how he's choosing to start it. I don't really see him go corn too much against Zorax nowadays, but honestly, don't quote me on that. Um, so we're getting his uh, basic bread and butters. All right, and we got to see how uh, Dexter's going to handle this edgeguard situation. Typically, Dexter's really good about making sure that people don't get back to the stage. But right here, uh, Zorax mixing it up, getting that down air into the up smash firm. Give himself a pretty decisive lead here in uh, game one. But again, a lot of the damage for Dex is mostly going to come off of when he can keep Zorax off stage. Um, not let him get all these up tilt combos, dash attack, up air strings, etc. Ooh, good spot dodge for the shield breaker. Uh, I guess. Dex was hoping for the shield there. Ooh. One hit up there, not going to be able to extend the combo. That's going to hurt Zorax as far as percent lead goes. Yeah, you see, Dex just kind of playing it safe, waiting to, you know, waiting for some kind of overcommitment like that laser so that he can forward air it. But that's one thing I'll say right now is that Dex is not getting a lot of conversions when he's off stage, or not, Zorax is off stage. Not really able to get too much damage when, you know, it matters for him in this matchup. But, uh, Zorax, absolutely not unfamiliar with getting damage. Already 60% against uh, Dexter's second stock. Ooh, drag down forward air. Miss the tech. He's going to get up smash and then the up air, but not quite going to take it. That forward air absolutely going to take out the first stock, though. Dexter almost with 100% deficit, though, on, uh, on his last stock. It's going to be tough, but not impossible. You know, if he gets any kind of a strong tipper setup or an edge guard situation again, the volatile matchup, you know, anyone could die pretty quickly. Missing the second down air up smash. Uh, that's going to be tough for Zorax, but then just run up and do it. That's my favorite strategy, run up, up smash. I love it. That's three, yep. Fox. Uh, we're gonna have to see where they go game two. Alright. So, oh, he's gonna switch core in FD. Interesting. Um, hmm. Kind of curious what he wants there. Um, I don't know. I know Core and Fox is typically a kind of a bad matchup. We'll have to see. But right now he's at least getting damage with the pin and the kicks. Ooh, that's, uh, that's going to be kind of unfortunate right there. Rolling out and getting caught by the pin kick to a raw back air. That's going to put Zorax off stage for a lot of extra damage here. He's able to dish it right back, getting a dash attack up air stream. I mean, really, this is just them kind of exchanging a lot of their uh, simple one-twos, but Zorax keeping it close. But unfortunately, down tail up air going to take that first stock from him. Dexter finally getting the lead in this uh, set.
All right, Zorak's gonna get that uh, first stock now. Get the up smash. I like that idea though, with the shine stuff so that he doesn't keep uh, getting juggled by the nares, but still, it's kind of hard for him to land. Dex are coming just about every one of his options. Playing this match a lot smarter than he was the last time with uh, again getting those options. I think Dex was missing a lot of those for the majority of game one. Ooh, almost getting the pin to take that stock. And there we go. Never mind. He's got it. I'm curious too. Uh, depending on the stage, I wonder if Dex is going to stay core. That was a pretty convincing game, but uh, pretty convincing game. But I don't know if he wants to stay switch or really what he plans on doing. If he was real, he'd go Roy. started. Mm. Three, two, one. Okay, so Town of City is going to stay Corrin. Classic just sit there and uh, spam laser. I like that. going for with the counter there. I wonder if that was just a misinputted side B. I don't think they really would have gotten too much, even if he did read something like a dash attack or an up tilt. And again, Zorax uh, making sure that he's trying to pick the right options for ledge, uh, how he chose to illusion through, which typically would be kind of unsafe. Um, trying to mix it up, but again, Dex still getting that good damage already with you know this 40% lead. This is sort of what I was talking about before. Is as soon as Dex can start picking up on the, uh, the ledge options, he's going to get a ton of damage, and it's going to make it really hard for Zorax to not just get stage control back, but really do any kind of damage to Dexter. Uh oh. Down tilt up there. Not quite going to take it. Zorax uh, timing the air dodge correctly there. Oh, this is where we get started. 61% and not quite going to get the Firefox set up. Smart of him to uh, land on the platform set. He didn't get that tipper pin. That absolutely would have been a stock, but this grab is not going to take it. Good DI from Zorax to survive that. He's definitely showing that he's still in this. Trying to get the jab jab to the dash attack. Hoping for an up air string, but uh, Dex going down and shielding it. Ooh! All right, we see the uh, turnout F smash on regular get up. Not quite taking the stock though. Both these players really living really late on such a small stage in County City. Not able to get the illusion to the up air combo that he was probably looking for there. We ain't gonna see a Fox F throw kill though for sure. Next grab on Dexter's definitely gonna take it, whether it's down throw or up air. But that's. That's not safe, my guy. Pin jumping right through uh, right through Fox's shield. Gonna get off Smash. Zorak's gonna take that first stock. And this is scary, because, you know, with Rage, Fox, uh, really against any character. One up tilt can lead to a lot of damage, and, you know, if he fair footstools, too, that could be the set. You know, we can see our second upset today. We're going to see the throw to take that stock away from Zorax. I'm really getting a ton of damage on Dexter's second stock. Keeping it close nonetheless. Dash attack not going to really convert too much out of it. And this is going to be the tough part for Zorax too. It's just resetting the neutral after he gets uh, down tilted or really anything by Dexter to keep him in the air. I guess it's kind of the crazy part about these matchups in general. Both characters do so much to keep each other in the air and off the ground. And neither one of them really have too much of a problem killing <laughs> early. 
Ooh, he tried to do the uh, the hip check F tilt. I don't know if he was looking for a jab block, if he was just looking for a setup to get him off stage for the fair footstool. I know Joey likes going for both of those, so. Zorax. Good shield pressure with the uh, rapid jab, getting through with the shield poke. And he's looking for the same option again, the same one to take the first stock. Life saving shine there. Getting him out of that uh, up air. Nair, back air. Not quite going to take it. Going for the down smash, trying to catch that recovery, but what's they going to do it? And the air dodge, wait, up air. Zorax is going to take this set from Dexter, 2 1. Wow, good stuff to both players. That was a, that was a crazy set. We're going to go into, uh, see here, Cold Weather versus Logic next. Cold Weather actually getting the upset over ZD previously, so we're going to see how this one goes.